Hello, it's Jeannie and my good friend Charlotte from Whisper Audios ASMR. Mm -hmm. And I am so excited today that she has come up to Cambridge to meet with me and visit with me and go out with us and we can also make videos today which is we're doing a couple different kinds so you'll check out have to check out the one on her channel as my well new channel. Huh? my new channel her new channel oh my gosh <laughs> mm -hmm. and i'll put a link and um in the description as well as in the pinned comment so yes definitely follow charlotte thank you so, and is the new channel, what is the name of the new channel? The new channel is called ASMR with Charlotte. ASMR with Charlotte. Very simple. Very I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> simple is best. Simple and, is best. you know, for all of you who have wanted to start an ASMR channel, you don't have to, you know, overthink your, your name. Mm -hmm. ASMR. Is Jeannie B. Yeah. ASMR. <laughs> ASMR with Charlotte. <laughs> And so today I thought we would sit and have a chat and I would ask her the Jeannie B's most interesting questionnaire of all time questions because no questions have ever been more interesting than these. Absolutely. When I read them, like when you sent them to me, I was like, these are amazing. Like, normally it's like, what's your favorite drink or what's like this and that, but these were really good. And you know, these came from when my husband and I were just sitting out on the back porch and I like to ask him random things. And him being a pilot, you saw he's very linear, you know, and very focused. Um, focused. Mm -hmm. He doesn't, you know, he's not abstract. <laughs> I'm the abstract one. <laughs> so I'm, I ask him some of these and he looks at me, you know, what planet did <laughs> yeah. you come from? <laughs> so. Anyway, without too much further ado, we have a couple of our favorite drinks, and I think I will go ahead and put in a shot of what it took to get these oh <laughs> drinks. We had a bit of a disaster. We had, we had a little bit of a, an ASMR disaster. That's right, but we handled it like giant pros. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cheers. Okay. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. Yes. Okay. So the first five questions are about you, about you, Charlotte. And so starting off with your favorite drink, one hot, one cold, and if a bug were to land in it, would you still drink it? Okay. So my favorite hot drink would probably be coffee, which I'm drinking right now. I don't function very well without it, as many of us don't. <laughs> and I just love the taste. I'm really into my like coffee beans and I have like a proper coffee machine at home with like, it's a full service. So you have the coffee that gets ground and then the milk gets frothed up. Oh and yeah. Yeah, it's, it's great. A cold drink, I would say red wine. Red wine, I love red wine. And if yeah. a bug was to fly into it, would I still drink it? Absolutely, because <laughs> this actually happened to me. Uh, a wasp landed into my red wine and I took a sip of it not knowing that the wasp was there and it stung my mouth oh. as I was drinking it. Now, it, it felt like an electric shock, yeah. like my whole mouth. Good job I wasn't allergic because that would have like been really yeah. dangerous. And obviously I spat the wasp out, I had a little cry for it because like, poor thing. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I just was like, oh well, and then kind of drink it. Did it swell up? No, luckily it didn't. It just hurt for that brief moment and then I was okay. My uh, husband's aunt picked up a, a soda can and did the same thing and it was in her soda can mm. and it, um, stung her here but it got huge and I happened to have some allergy medicine on me I don't know Benadryl or yeah Zyrtec one of those things 
But also, too, with regard to that question, doesn't it depend on the kind of bug? Yeah. Is, if it was a spider, would you? Yeah, spiders are okay. I love spiders. They live in my house freely. Only if the big ones and the ones that look quite poisonous, I have to put them outside. But I'm the chief spider catcher in our house. See, I think a spider warrants burning down a house. No. So. <laughs> The I whole the cup spiders. would be chucked. Yeah. But okay, this yeah. is about you, not about <laughs> me. <laughs> when I come visit you at your house, you have to get the spiders out first. Okay, I'll, I will. Okay. All right. Your favorite fashion designer or brand that you would wear five days a week if you could, and cost is not a factor. I don't have one. I'm not a fashion conscious person. Like, if you were to show me like a Gucci or an Armani, I wouldn't know the difference. Like, it means nothing to me. Like, as long as it provides a function in the weather that I'm in, yeah. it's okay. Like, it doesn't matter to me. Mm -hmm. um, but there is this one designer, I can't think what she's called, but she does like geometrical, like living dresses that move as you walk. A lot of like, the runway, um, um, I mean the red carpet, people wear them and I think they're absolutely beautiful but not practical for every day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like if it if it doesn't fall apart in the wash, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you're very practical in that It's school. very much, yeah. Like if it's got pockets, it has to have pockets. Yeah. Otherwise I get very sad. Like, why do they not have dresses with pockets? I know, right? It's just, I heard something about this. Like, apparently it was, like, banished in, like, the 19th or 18th century for women to have pockets because they'd keep, like, secret things in there from their husbands and, like, write letters and it's, oh like... Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know how true that is. <laughs> it's got pockets. It's got pockets. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, favorite dream destination... All paid, I'll buy it. <laughs> and you get to spend, you have to spend six months there. Okay. So it has to be by the sea. I think I would okay. get quite sad if I wasn't by a large body of water. So it'd have to be somewhere I could swim every day. Um, but also somewhere that I could do some like conservation work or work with animals because six months is a long oh, time. I don't think is. I could sit on the beach yeah, for six and read months. A book. No, yeah. I mean I love reading, but yeah, but you know, two old. days on the beach doing nothing is about my limit. So somewhere I could swim, look at wildlife, and participate in like a cultural like project or something like that. So I don't. Do you know. have any ideas where that would be? No, um, maybe some. <laughs> tropical island somewhere I don't I you don't know agree. I was thinking um South Africa mm. that would be cool yeah yeah they've got some really good beaches yeah and and great conservation. animal conservation mm. programs yeah my neighbors are South African there you go. <laughs> okay if you could have anyone I pretend I can see I'm sorry <laughs> if you could have anyone do a makeover on you who would it be? Absolute Charlotte Tilbury because I love oh, her makeup so yes. much and I love her just spirit yeah. and her like sassy attitude and I just think she's just really great or Lisa Eldridge she's a great another great um, makeup artist and she has a YouTube channel as well and she does all like the celebrities and stuff so th those two sorry I maybe we should tag her oh yes is she here where is she um, both are in um, the UK yeah, for the UK oh, makeup artists. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you dance and or sing and just bust a move or belt it out when you're alone? Oh, absolutely. Oh, and God. sometimes when I'm not alone either, I like find myself doing it and somebody's come into the room and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> And then I just carry on because I don't care. Like, I love dancing. I know. Yeah. I love dancing. I can't sing, but I love singing. So, yeah. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Love it all. Good. It's good. good for the soul, I feel. It is. It really is. Mm. Okay. You're on a deserted island. Yeah. There is food and water, good. so you're not going to die. Amazing. And you don't have to hunt for your food, which okay. is really good. That good. I'd starve to death. Same. I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't hunt. 
um, what music album would you choose to have with you? And you would have some form to play it, so Good. it's a record album. Or oh, so we have to choose the format as well? No, 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 no. Can Whatever I it the is, <laughs> you will have that format okay. and electricity and charging stations yeah. <laughs> regenerate it. Okay, so this is a bit wild. It would be the Lost soundtrack on vinyl. You know, the Lost TV program. Oh, yeah. Because if you're on a des desert island, you'd need that kind of soundtrack. They were stranded on a desert island. It'd be quite appropriate, wouldn't it? That would. Yeah. <laughs> that would. Okay. Yeah. Oops. What flower would you choose to propagate oh. on your island? I'm not, like, very, like, knowledgeable on flowers, but there was this one flower. I was working at a house maybe, like, 10 years ago, and they had this really lovely greenhouse. And they had like this beautiful pink flower that smelled like it was a cross between like play-doh and perfume and i had for the life of me i don't know what it was somebody told me once it was like a sweet william but i thought they were oh, poisonous i don't know but it smelled absolutely divine and i wanted to like cultivate it make it into like a perfume or something because it was so good so maybe I would, i'd choose whatever that flower was okay mm. we would find out you would that take to find out. send you to that island with that album and that flower mm -hmm. okay what beauty product or toiletry item would you have and you can have two toilet paper toothpaste <laughs> Okay, Definitely. I'm going to be really generous and assume there's toilet paper, so pick another. Okay. I can when, have we, toothpaste. when we say toiletries, we don't mean toilet. We oh. just mean what you would have for your, you know. For your own personal. Yeah, your personal, mm -hmm. you know. Well, definitely toothpaste then. 100%, okay. 100% toothpaste. Can, does a toothbrush count? Let's say it's a it's a set. You get oh, the, you get a you set. You get a set. Mm -hmm. So you get the. <laughs> We're thinking too literally. I'm the creator of all rules here. <laughs> yeah. I am the god, the goddess of these. Okay. Sunscreen. Ah, oh, sunscreen. Mm -hmm. oh, smart girl. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Factor fifty at least. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. What animal would you give a voice to so you can converse, and you get to have that animal on the island. As a friend. It would be my friend. Yeah. And okay. you get to talk with him and her or him. <laughs> it. it. Okay. Maybe an elephant because I feel like they're really wise and they would really help you say like, look, there's water over here or like, here's a good place to like go or like, I've been here before. I think that'd be really like wise. I don't know. And you could ride around. On yeah. That. Become friends with them. Yeah. And, and they could actually protect you too. Mm. They can be quite like, Vicious yeah. when they want to. Yeah, they can. Yeah. And if it loves you, mm. it will love you forever. Forever, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And they long term and relationship. They, <laughs> it's a long term relationship. <laughs> An elephant. An That's elephant. a first. Mm. I've heard a lot of things, yeah. but never what elephant. What do people normally say? Cats and dogs. Cats. Yeah, standard. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, who, who chose a cat? Me. <laughs> Do you know how unhinged cats are? <laughs> I love cats. But they though. can go hunt themselves and feed themselves. This and, is true. And they're, yeah, you're right. <laughs> they would leave you. They would abandon you at the first <laughs> moment. My cats love me. You say this now. <laughs> if you're on a desert island, different story. <laughs> it would turn feral and it kill would. me. It would. I'll consider the elephant. <laughs> Okay, you get two books to have with you, one fiction mm -hmm. and one nonfiction, mm -hmm. and you must read them over and over. Okay. So what are they? So I don't read a lot of nonfiction. So I'll start there because I know, even though I don't read, I know exactly what I would choose, and that's the SAS Survival Guide. <laughs> so it would be like the handbook, either by Everything you Grills. Need. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How to start a fire, when, <gasps> how to clean your socks, how to filter water through yes. your socks. You know, that sort of thing. And then the fiction would be The 13 and a Half Lives of Captain Boo Bear because it's like this thick. Okay. And it has pictures as well. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm discovering how brilliant you are. <laughs> Elephants and big books. Okay. Um, whoops. 
Where'd the others go? Here they are. Okay. What is your favorite? Now we're back into people. Okay. What is your favorite quality in a person? Besides being grateful. <laughs> Humor. <laughs> Humor. Hundred percent. I can't like. I can't stand people who don't have a sense of humour, but it's it's difficult for me to bond with people who are very dry. I mean, you can be dry and funny, but if you're funny, funny, ha ha ha, then yeah, you're you mine. <laughs> you're, you're mine. <laughs> I'm yours. <laughs> when I was making this coffee, and I had done three levels of this stuff, oh it was God. full. And it went flying all over the kitchen. I just heard this scream. I was like, oh my God, that's I it. Know. She's gonna, she's dead. And it's super hot, super hot. I thought I'm gonna be scalded. Yeah. I moved with cat-like reflexes. It was literally just, just like this. I jumped back. I didn't know I could move like that for an old lady. <laughs> I jumped. Oh, and I, I do good. have it all over my shirt. But that's because okay. You can't see it. Okay, humor, sense of humor, good girl. Definitely. And you know, a lot of people said with this one too, mm. is kindness. And I think yeah. that almost goes without saying because yeah. we wouldn't be friends with somebody who is unkind. Oh no, I mean, I, well, I, yeah, I wouldn't yeah, be so. yeah, I wouldn't be horrible to them or anything, but it would be like, yeah, I wouldn't want to hang out with anyone right. like that. Right, Yeah, definitely. We'd, we'd have to laugh at them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're very old. And at the end of your days, mm -hmm. what warning would you give to your 20 year old self that you think would actually, you would listen to as a 20 year old and one that would make a real difference? Mm. And so remember hard. now it's what warning? A warning. So not like advice. Not anything. advice. What warning? Charlotte? Don't do this. Um, or watch out for something about this or, your, mm. or even something about yourself. It's a warning. And you have to think about your 20-year-old mm. idiotic self, you know. Yeah. Um, would you listen? Don't believe everyone is who they say they are, I think. That's a good one. Yeah, because I've been, unfortunately, like lured in by some not very nice people who have not very good intentions yeah and I just think you know people see your kindness and they exploit it and they say the like the, this and that and then you believe them because I'm a very trusting person and I'm a very like and gullible it, person and yeah yeah and and you know that whole trust your gut mm. I know what you mean and my gut says everybody's nice yeah and, same. until you pop me on the nose mm. i believe you have my best intentions exactly exactly yeah the best intentions yeah I, I believe people have the, my best intentions yeah. yeah yeah until you show me otherwise yeah. and so you're the same way mm. i uh, my gut <laughs> can't trust my gut <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think as i'm older i think as you age you get a little wiser this but 20 true. years old exactly that's it you're very vulnerable mm. and you think you know everything, but mm, you don't. You don't at all. I don't even know everything now. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask me. <laughs> Bring me up. <laughs> it, it took an extra 45 years, you know, but I know it all now. Yeah. Just ask, ask me. Jeannie. She yeah. knows. Yeah, I do. Just text me. Send me a text. <laughs> okay. What superpower would you bestow upon certain people if you could? You've got the power. What would you give them? You can give them one superpower. Is it everybody or just certain people? Whoever you want, if you choose. Bob, Larry, Mary, mm -hmm. Sue. You want to give Sue a superpower? Empathy. That's what I would bestow on people. Oh, okay, so she's lacking it then, mm. right? Yeah. So it would be for somebody who's lacking it, mm. right? Yeah, like, or anyone. I think we're all naturally empathetic but i think if we had like a big boost of it anyway oh, God. i know empathy yeah. is not necessarily a superpower like flight or invisibility but i think it can be a superpower because if you use it wisely your life will be 100 percent better if like, we were all empathetic more empathetic, caring yeah. about someone else putting somebody else's needs mm. 
you know, at the forefront. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You're so deep. sweet. We get deep. So sweet. <laughs> Here I think I wanted time travel or yeah. something. Oh, God, I wouldn't let anyone have time travel. That could get messy. No, I think, my, I can't remember what mine was. I'd have to go back and, I, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. What super, okay, um, what superpower superpower would you choose for yourself and mine flight. was mine was time travel so oh, flight 100 percent flight as long as i could breathe and how okay. fast am i going because then and it won't mess up your hair i don't mind about the hair I'll, i don't mind about the someday hair. someday you will <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah wouldn't that be awesome i would to have just to fly okay so you can fly i can fly as but there's practical elements to that how high would i need to go would i need to wear a Jacket would really cold. <laughs> what if it rains? A scarf. <laughs> would, would your phone work? GPS? <laughs> would it get wet? <laughs> exactly. There's a lot of practical reasons to this. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you need a brolly? I know. I know. Goggles. <laughs> I'm seeing all the problems to go along exactly. with it. You need to pick something else. <laughs> Somebody said um, the ability to read others' minds. Oh, like, no. no way. No, thank you. I, I already imagine the worst. That's <laughs> exactly. I don't need confirmation. You're looking at my big butt, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> I not. I, I barely manage my own thoughts. I don't want anybody else's. Exactly. I, I, no, no, I don't. I don't no. need to know. No. Yeah. No, thank okay. you. <clears throat> if you could choose, no, sorry, if you could be anyone other than yourself for a year, who would that be? Um, oh my goodness. Anyone in the world, living or dead? Yes. I'm going to open it. All the way up. Mm. My God, I didn't think of this. I'm kind of happy being myself. Um, some, I don't know. <laughs> I want to see them go. Who did you choose? I forgot. I forgot. I'd have to go back and look at my video. That's really hard. Um, so I wouldn't want to be anybody. Maybe someone who's like the polar opposite to me. No one, no one famous, no one like that. Oh, no, I'm, I've got it. I've got it, 100%. Okay. David Attenborough, 100%. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And but then. when he was like in his 20s, when he was first starting out and Discovering it was just the new thing. And, oh, yeah. yeah. 100%. 100%. 100%. You win the you win the uh, prize on that okay. one. <laughs> okay. Historical. Mm -hmm. What one? I think there's a typo in there. What one past? I I don't understand this question. I I. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, what one passed away person, mm -hmm. non-family? would you benefit from spending a day with? Because I think we all want our moms and dads back or our granddad, a grandma, mm -hmm. you know. So a non-family person who has passed away that, yeah, somebody who you could benefit spending time with for a day. Can it be anybody in the world? Anybody? Robin Williams. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That would be interesting. And I'd like to see him who he really is like w away from the camera and performing and yeah just as like behind closed doors kind of person and i i think i read he actually battled depression mm -hmm. so you know what you mm -hmm. see the big mm -hmm. larger than life yeah. yeah definitely robin williams okay what era or period in time would you want to go mm -hmm. spend six months in am i still a woman you are still you. Mm, that's okay. Yeah, I know. That's, it's hard for women to choose that. Any, any guy would be like, yes, I'll go back to the 12th century and be like a Viking. And it's like, great, that's not good for us. Um, somewhere where women like were okay. <laughs> Maybe not too far back. <laughs> um, I'd, somewhere that there's a working loo. Okay. I don't think I'd want to go anywhere too far back where I have to like squat, well, squat yeah. in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> yeah. No toilet paper. Find a tree. Yeah. Um, 
unless I was of someone important that had those things. 100% would be burnt as a witch. I'm too outspoken for oh, those yeah. times. Yeah. Um, all right, maybe like the 60s or 70s. Okay. Nice dresses. You get to wear red lipstick every day. You get your winged liner and your hair all done nice. Mm. Maybe I would be a housewife in like the 60s or 50s or something. Or in a Monroe era. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. Hollywood glam. Okay, yeah, with a with a bit of money, you yeah. know, that you could do those, you know, yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, like Hollywood 50s. Let's, let's go there. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's 1850. Ooh. We're going back an extra 100 years Ooh. for you here. You get to go back for one year in any profession. 1850. So you're going to be in the 1850s or in the 1850s. Anywhere 1850. in the world. Yep, and you get to go back. What profession are you going to be? And assume you've got the education for it. Mm. So again, as a woman, probably frowned upon in most professions, apart from that one. <laughs> <laughs> So I, my knowledge is only limited to like that time in the UK because I'm not really sure how everything was. I mean, that's frontier times in the US, right? Yeah. 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 And I'm not really 100% sure how it was like around the rest of the world. So I would probably be something like maybe work in like a chemist, like an apocryphy. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? Doing like little tinctures and stuff. If not, I would probably be like a clockmaker sounds. Oh no, I couldn't do the intricate things for a clockmaker. What did people have back then? I like the idea of a chemist. Yeah, like, like yeah, like women would come yeah. and say, oh, I've got this ache and that ache. And I'll be like, oh, let me just like put this balm on you. With, so like, a healer cyanide. of some sort. Yeah, yeah. 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 cyanide. Yeah. I love the cyanide back then. Yeah. <laughs> Arsenic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my baby's crying. Here, have some brandy. <laughs> I'll sort you right out. We did that <laughs> not even a hundred years ago. Oh. Yeah, I just put on the gums. Bit. Yep. Um, okay. What historical non-family figure would you want to bring into the now mm -hmm. and show them around, you know, for a month? Mm -hmm. So you're bringing somebody back for a month to show them the world probably like Galileo oh like yeah that. be Galileo. like hey dude like you know you said that these things here they are like, yeah yeah someone that's like brilliant that. like a science some sort of scientist who theorized and was like the groundbreaker but was penalized for it yeah. bring them back and say look dude it's totally cool you were right you were right yeah 100 percent. and we've discovered more planets yeah, since then yeah, too exactly. and moons mm -hmm. yeah Okay, what historical family would you choose to be a member of, and why? This is random, but probably like the Romanovs, even though they were Ooh. all violently murdered. Mm -hmm. Before that. <laughs> before that. <laughs> it cuts off the day before, and you get to come yeah. back. I've always, like, you know how, like, you have, like, past lives. Yeah. And people say, like, I feel like I was like this or that, or like I've re I've got memories of when I was this and that. I feel like once upon a time, I was some sort of like Russian aristocrat. <laughs> wow. And I feel like a drawing to that. A drawing to that. Wow. I don't know why. That's weird. Yeah. But yeah, some sort okay. of like a Russian. Off just before just that. Just before then. And then you maybe the week before that. Just the week. Like, yeah. 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 I'm good with that. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's okay. I think. I think I got them all. We did that about me. We did that. That was really interesting. <sighs> yeah, and you know, I did this. I, these are my questions, and I did a video answering them, and I don't even remember all my answers. Mm. So it would make me think again. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of interesting to go through. And I wonder if you'd answer the same as well. In no, I don't think I would. No. Uh uh. I don't think I would. Because it's, it's nice, like, bouncing back and forth with you about yeah. it. Yeah. Because then it makes you think. Yeah, elephant. Elephant. Yeah. I never thought about an elephant. 
And you're going to have to assume you can feed the elephant. Well, yeah, you know, yeah. Hopefully, I, I grant that you can mm. feed your elephant. You can, there's enough food for your elephant. You and your elephant. But then it wouldn't eat you. Thank goodness. No, it wouldn't. It's a vegetarian. Because <laughs> if you were cho chose, like my first initial reaction would be like a a wild cat or like a big cat. Because, mm. like you said, they would hunt for you and stuff. But then I thought, actually, they might turn on you and eat you if there was. Not but see if you can converse with it and say, you know, here, kitty, please don't eat me. We're going to be friends. I'll take care of you too. I don't think they would listen. You don't think they no. care? <laughs> no way. Yeah. We're like, nice. I'm very sad. I'm not going to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I've watched my cats go after some voles and gophers and mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, they would turn on you for yeah. sure. <laughs> so one time, and I actually have a video of this, Leo was out on our, the 11 acres that I showed you, and he was after a vole, and the vole was not going to win this. And so he jumped up onto Leo's <gasps> collar and held on, and Leo couldn't see him, and he's looking for him. And the vole Small. is swinging around, and Leo is spinning around looking for where the vole went, and he's holding on with his dear life to his collar. Oh my and I just happened to get that on video. I'm, I would try to rescue it, but it was already, it, it was over. Yeah. It, he yeah. found it. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Vol. That's nature. That's nature. That's nature. nature is hard sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up. I am just so honored that I've got the great Charlotte what? here. What? I wanted to feel more of it. Oh, God. It's amazing. I oh. love it. And I'm so thankful to you for inviting me. Here. This has been wonderful. And I just can't thank you enough for coming up to Cambridge and spending time with us. And it's been lovely. It has been. I'm sad you're going home. I know. Tomorrow. I know. We oh. really just nipped that in, didn't we? <laughs> I know. Thank you all for being here. Check out her new channel. I'll tag it here in the pinned comment and the description, the video description. And I will be back and see you all stateside when I get home, put everything together. And I wish you all well. I bid you all peace. Same. <laughs> Copycat. Sorry. Yeah. Thank care. you for watching. Bye. Bye for now.